Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. If we have to choose one single weapon which has done massive damage to Russia in its war with Ukraine it will be high mars. The rocket system has gained the attention during the ongoing Ukraine conflict due to its capacity to unleash deadly precision fires against Russian strongholds including command centers and supply depots. The effectiveness of this system can be realized from the upcoming orders of the HIMARS post its super success in Ukraine. Poland is buying 500 M142 HIMARS launchers for more than 800 batteries. In May 2022, the US government had announced that it had granted Australia's request to buy 20 HIMARS rocket system for about 385 million US dollars. The M142 high mobility artillery rocket system HIMARS is a light multiple rocket launcher. It is a missile launcher mounted on a 5-ton truck. Its single pod can carry either 6 GMLRS or 2 PRSM missiles or 1 ATACM missiles and can launch the entire multiple launch rocket system family of munitions. Its range varies from 2 to 300 km and even 500 km depending upon the types of rockets used. The guided projectile can reach a maximum range of 150 km. The missile supplied to Ukraine has having the range of 80 km. It can also fire Army Tactical Missile System or ATACMS which is a series of 610 mm surface to surface missile with a range of up to 300 km. But this missile has a separate pod and can fire only one ATACMS missile. In future, the ATACMS is planned to be replaced with PRSM or Precision Strike Missile, which is a new series of GPS guided missile having a range between 60 to 499 kilometers. The HIMARS pod will be able to carry two such missiles. Now, if we summarize the key feature of HIMARS, it will be its shoot and scoot capability and a single platform to fire rockets and missile ranging from 80 to 500 kilometers now let's bring back our discussion to indian pinaka rocket system as we have informed you earlier that armenia has signed a government to government deal worth over rupees 2000 crore with india for the import of missiles rockets and ammunition as a part of this deal india will supplying the pinaka mbrl to armenia Besides Pinaka, India will also supply the anti-tank missiles and a range of ammunition. Now, recently in an interview with Z News, the chairman of Sodar Industries, Satnarayan Nuwal has told that the deal between India and Armenia involves all three versions of Pinaka rockets. The three versions are Pinaka 1 having a range of 37 km, Pinaka ER that is extended range having a range of 45 km and Pinaka guided having a range of 75 km. Now this is going to give Armenia an asymmetric advantage over Azerbaijan. This Pinaka system is even better than HIMARS used by Ukraine in terms of accuracy and lethality. But where Pinaka is lacking is the lack of rockets and missiles of range greater than 75 km. Now just like HIMARS, Pinaka is also a modular system. The pods developed for Pinaka MK1, MK2 and MK1 enhanced can carry 6 rockets. whereas the pod of guided pinaka carries four rockets so both of them have different pod each pinaka launcher can carry two such pods and all these rockets can be fired from same pinaka launcher the launcher tubes developed for these rocket pods are disposable or one time use and are made from e glass epoxy resin system based composite so as we have discussed the guided pinaka has different pod than the other versions of pinaka Now in order to achieve the capabilities similar to HIMARS India needs to develop two things the first one is long range rockets or missiles and the pod to launch them from pinaka launchers the development of pod is not a big deal the main challenge would be to develop rockets and missiles with much larger range now identifying this opportunity On 15th June, the Solar Industry has submitted Suo Moto under Make Two proposal. Under this, the firm has offered two proposals. The first one is 130 to 150 km range rocket and second one is 250 km range missiles which can be fired from existing Pinaka system. Both of them are going to be guided rockets. 
The 250 km range rocket is going to be based on BrahMos missile without a seeker. The Army version of BrahMos missile does not require seeker as most of its target is going to be a stationary one like bunkers, command center and ammunition depot. The cost of BrahMos missile is rupees 40 crore whereas the new 250 km range missile proposed by Solar Industry is priced at just rupees 8 crore. So this is a very smart and important proposal made by Solar Industries. Let's hope this gets approved by government sooner so that work can commence on it. Once this is achieved, India will have a system equivalent or even better than HIMARS and will be able to match with the artillery firepower of China. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.